why are people putting comments that get instantly removed by YouTube anyway, promoting porn sites on my videos? I'm getting like... Uh. <laughs> hey guys, Serious JG here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, like, you know, I, my Final Fantasy VIII video that went new, you know, went public about 24 hours ago as I am recording this. That's like, what, 20, 30 views on it right now? You know, one day, 20-something views? Why are people trying to use it to... Why are people making ineffective bids to use it to promote their porn sites? Anyway, so you'll see we're not where we were the last time we all uh, were together, folks, because... Um, I decided, um, again, I, I, I wasn't up to recording, so I just, uh, played, a, played around a bit and, uh, got our GF skills, so now our, our new GFs, they're not level 100, and they don't have all of their skills, but they got the main stuff. Cerberus will be working on auto haste, but has learned speed junction, hit junction, status times four defense, that kind of stuff. Uh, Alexander has pretty much everything except for his summon of magic uh, damage up. But um, we came out here to... Um, I guess I'll leave... Uh, I hope I can find my way back, actually. I'll leave uh, the encounters on so you can see what we came here to fight. Cactuars! Yay, Cactuars. Lovable Cactuars. Never noticed these guys so much in Final Fantasy VI. Which I, I'm surprised at myself that I called it Final Fantasy VI instead of Final Fantasy III because I always think of it as Final Fantasy III. Um, I don't even remember if these guys were in Final Fantasy VII. This is the game where I first noticed them as being an oddball kind of enemy because they give lots of AP, but they tend to retreat. But anyway, here's a special zone that you can only get to uh, by leaving Balam Garden. I mean, you can get to it rather easily by... Um, later in the game using the other airship but for now like you have to land here and like navigate this little path to get here which is kind of neat because it gives you access to enemies that are associated with another continent but what we're going to do to actually continue the story right now because I guess we're supposed to be hunting for the white seed ship but somewhere we also got a uh, little verbal clue that we can go visit Renoa in the hospital see how she's doing and I don't know that I'm going to get a ton more of this game recorded today, but I figure I can take care of this a little bit, because um, I keep mentioning that there's a uh, Tim Manny uh, that we don't want to get until after we've done something else, and this is the something else that we want to do before we get that Tim Manny, so if I get this done, I don't have to worry about forgetting that Tim Manny. Hey, kid. Just confirming the trade rules. Because other than some very specific stuff that I still is pretty much just going to put off until we get the better airship. Um, I think I'm done with the card game for now. Oh, he's going to pray to Renoa. Renoa, you feel so cold. Come on, heat up. Oh, we've got new music playing, too. Are you going to be like this forever? No, eventually she'll decompose. Dot, dot, dot. Isn't there anything I can do? You were so full of life. Annoyingly so at times. Now you don't even make a sound. I'd like something halfway between those two. I want to hear your voice. This is like talking to a wall. Yeah, this is kind of what talking to you is like for most people, Squall. Renoa, call my name. <laughs> Say my name, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I took that in a way bad direction. <laughs> What's my name? Bally Banish Gregman! Oh. He's sad. He's sad Squall. Sad Squall's worst Squall. Oh, never mind. I thought he just collapsed in grief. He collapsed in Laguna. So, um... I knew this was coming, and yet I'm still surprised. I thought they were going to handle it slightly more artfully than they did. So here's a really interesting one. They actually, uh, it's like, okay, we know that you know how this works now. So this time we're actually going to give you a chance to figure it out in advance properly. Now the problem is, um... 
do I actually have everybody... Was it Zell and Selfie that I was using? I think it was. So why are they both showing... Oh, they probably got unjunctioned. Because they're both showing at, like... Maximum hit points are in the 5,000s. So somehow nobody's considered junctioned right now. Why the heck do I have to do this? And how did JG make me... I guess I talk like regularly, but slightly more slick. I don't know. Because we have no money. Dot, dot, dot. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault that we stayed at the hotel so often. But heck, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say, but we know you're really quite excited. We can see your nipples. Sorry. Okay, everyone, take your positions. Man, I can't believe this director making a movie with me, an amateur. What the heck am I supposed to do? Dot, dot, dot. All right, all right. So we were lucky I got the job. As long as we make some money, right? Uh, are you serious? What kind of costume is this? Apparently, Laguna knew nothing about the film before he tried out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no complaining. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Debbie Does Dallas 7. Let's get going. I'm trying to think. Can I do an impression of any famous directors? Like, people do impressions of Martin Scorsese. I don't really... <laughs> I don't think I can do a Martin Scorsese impression. Um, Spike Lee, well, that'll that could go in a bad direction. Even if I thought he had a particular way of speaking, me trying to do it probably would upset him uh, immediately. So I guess just generic director, man. Hey, look at you, not bad. This is your co-star playing the part of the sorceress. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Co-Star. All we need now is someone to play the dragon. <laughs> they haven't bothered to cast the dragon yet, huh? Oh, perfect. Hey, you two back there. Really? Okay, so anyway, if... I don't understand why, but if you get the Tim Manny in uh, Shumi Village, before you get to this point, Ward doesn't appear. You just do this entire sequence without Ward. Which is the only way I'd ever done it. I, I kind of always assumed that that was the only way that this, this went. Ward just disappears from the story after he gets his job as a, a mute janitor. But no... Somewhere along the line, uh, Laguna, Kiros, and Ward all get reunited, but only if Squall and friends don't read the Timber Maniacs from Shumi Village, I guess. Yes. I'm kind of in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. Do you think you could put on the dragon costume and just kind of just walk down here? I'll pay you. I guess so. Let me talk to my agent. Okay, just be on standby over there. At some point, I gotta get an option to go in and, and, and set my junctions and shit on Squall and Ward. It will matter, eventually. Ah! Okay, people, here we go. Scene 12, Death of the Sorceress. Oh, spoilers. Ready. Action. Oh, Sir Knight, save me from the wicked dragon... Uh, okay, I'll save you from the dragon. Darn it, I'm getting all nervous here. And what's with this gun blade? I haven't used one of these these since training. Only morons would fight with a dumbass weapon like a gun blade, kind of like this. Actually, this looks like a sword. Hey, not bad. I'll just put in some voiceovers. <laughs> what? Really, this does feel like it's some kind of porn parody of a of a well-known action film about a sorceress. Okay, bring on the dragon. Hey, come on, guys, the dragon. I'll put in voiceovers of the dragon. All right, here we go. Woo, wow, just like the real thing. Excellent work, Kiros. Uh, well, I'm glad he knows Kiros' name, and also... That he was not familiar with the special effect. <laughs> Wait a minute, was the costume that big? Whoa, Kiros and Ward are taking this seriously. Man, looks like the real thing. Y 
Ah. Jeez, take it easy, Kiros. What the? Is this thing real? What? No wonder. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm getting out of here. Well, Sir Knight, it's all yours. This is Sir Knight. I must bid you farewell. Hey, don't just leave me here. Well, why aren't you running away too? It's not gonna let me go. Hmm, the gun blade. Square to defend. Triangle to attack. That's a mini game, folks. All right, let's go. Doesn't seem so bad so far. I don't know how much damage you take each time it does hit you. Oh, you take quite a bit. So you really can't afford to mess that up at all. I was hitting square to defend game. Um, okay. A little annoyed by this mini game actually because I just don't. The, yeah. It was easy until suddenly it wasn't because Yeah, you you get no uh indication whatsoever he's gonna attack. It's just suddenly he's in an attack animation. That one you get an indication. His his like just charge forward at you thing, he just suddenly you're getting hit. So I'm kinda like, is there any point in not just attacking all the time? Which is what I'm gonna try this time. Okay, when he does that rear up animation, you probably need to not be attacking. It does seem like this is going to work. Oh, nope. I hit the defend button. <sighs> Probably sound like I'm being all whiny, but no, it's like, it really is. Uh, there's only one button to press. I just pressed the defend button and nothing happened. It's not exactly real clear when your inputs count either. I'm slamming the attack button while it's recovering from the previous attack. doesn't do anything. And there, you saw, I, I actually probably should have defended, but instead I chose to attack, and I cut off its attack. And just keep doing it till I win, I guess. There's no penalty for doing it wrong. Yeah, that one there, you're supposed to... Def yeah, I guess you're supposed to be hitting defend before it even does an attack animation, because how you can't really react in time. And the red dragon doesn't ever defend, or ruby dragon, I think it's the actual enemy name. It never defends. It just either is attacking or it isn't. There, I hit the defend button. I even did the defend pose, and I still took damage. And I don't think I took reduced damage. I think it was just like, oh, if it does that attack, you have to counterattack. If it does the other attack, which you can't see coming anyway, you're supposed to defend. Well, no, never mind. That time it worked. Whatever. Now's my chance. Run! Um, I was kind of hoping I could hit the hit the button and uh, junction my stuff. Because we're gonna have a, a we're gonna have to have a, a normal style fight with it in a minute. Darn stupid dragon! Where the heck are Kiros and Ward? The good did you call me? Yeah, I mean yeah. He just lands on his butt. Wait long enough? Here. I mean, here. Alright, tiny kicks of dragon bud. Here we go. Hold on a sec. Okay, now it'll let me actually set my stuff up, I hope. Yeah. So let me see here. Yeah, they just unjunctioned everybody is what they did. So now I have to rebuild my junctions because I don't remember what the hell they were. Uh, all right. So. Kezzy Coddle. 
That seems like a pretty powerful combination, actually. So, Faraga is not going to help against this thing. This thing is, like, really strong against uh, fire. Or this thing... Its attacks tend to be fire and, uh, I think wind? It's definitely fire. That's probably fine. I don't think this thing uses status stuff. Seems like you can you can pick up just about everything else. It's probably imbalanced, but um, it does seem like uh, Kiro's got most of what he needed. All right, so we're gonna do. Um, yeah, actually, I probably want to rebalance this just so that Kiro's has some better choices for here. I don't know if I care about mugging this guy or not. We'll be able to fight them later. Um, well, you know, we probably we probably be worth trying to mug it. Sleep is actually good. Slow and sleep, I think, work on red dragons with not particularly high success rate, but I think they do work. Uh, but again. This should, uh, this should, uh, give me some ability to survive, I hope. Although, again... Recover might be nice. I just need to make sure he doesn't die. Well, let's give it a try anyway. Let's see what this does. Well, actually, I'm curious what happens if I try to run away this way. Let's look for items up here. Oh, well, apparently regular encounters happen up here. It's not something I anticipated. Okay, I don't know that we care about you right now, friend, but... Well, actually, you're kind of useful because I can just uh, heal everybody up. <laughs> Which I could also have done using um, the recover command instead, which would be more efficient, actually. be just about our last chances to hear this music, too, now that I think about it. The horn broke off.
Yeah, so I wasn't really expecting to fight regular enemies here, but it's actually kind of handy that we did. We got some life rings and two app. But let's shut that off because that's not what we meant. Travia Canyon, okay. We get to come all the way up here. And so Laguna runs. And so Laguna runs for dear life. Who's running? Yeah, I'll do it. Really? So the reason we don't run away from the dangerous ruby dragon is because Kiros just kind of makes fun of us? It seems to be like Kiros can go get, get, you know, you know what it. I don't know why I'm so inconsistent about whether I'm going to swear in this LP or not, but... Oh, we have no money. That's a shame. Because if we did, we could find some place to go spend it. So it doesn't affect the main party at all. So here we go. It's our first battle with the Ruby Dragon. They will be one of the toughest regular enemies in the game. And we can encounter them again later, but it'll be a while. And this battle is actually kind of important because of... Um, what? Why has it got such terrible draws? We should be able to draw... It's supposed to be level 100. We're supposed to be able to draw um, Flare and Meteor from this thing. That was the whole point. Because these things are these things are pussycats when they're low level. Because you just have to make yourself immune to fire and and wind, and it occasionally hits you with really weak melee. But something's something's wrong here. Level 29. Strong and smart. If enemies are using Reflect, it casts Reflect on itself to mirror the attack. It absorbs fire and wind. Maybe this is happening because I lost to it in those earlier fights and I screwed it up, but... Um, no, we don't want this at all. This is, this is supposed to be a battle that we're going to use to get... Uh, to get Meteor magic and be fully junctioned up with Meteor. Flare we already got from, um, I guess, Triface, but uh, yeah, this is supposed to be... I was all... I was, the reason I was carefully setting junctions is I was anticipating fighting a level 100 Ruby Dragon, which is tougher than many of the bosses. So, not sure why its level is so low, but... Well, you've got too many things junction to you. We'll take off Tom. Now, Tom Bray takes away your luck. Well, that's fine. You've got like five, three, four, five. Yeah, you got like five Guardian Spirits junctioned right now. We give you Tonberry, that gives you three, so it's still not really evenly spaced, but... But we got everybody blocking Faraga, Fire and Tornado. But I can go to Abilities and give you, instead of GF, you'll get Level Up. So we'll try this. Now I can manually level the thing up to 100, which it should already be because we're all level 100. So I'm not sure why I'm having to go through this uh, difficulty. I'm not even sure this is going to work. If it doesn't start out at level 100, if I level it up to level 100, I don't know if I'm going to get to draw magic from it. I'm really not understanding this at all.
Let's try leveling it up before I scan it or anything. It's not doing damage like it's at level 100, certainly. Because this could affect its drops, but I don't know if it's going to affect what we can draw from it. Okay, well, it's giving us the right spells, anyway. I probably should have equipped level down so I could make it easier to beat once we get the meteors, but... Yeah, here's what I'm worried about. It's gonna do that attack. Well, that wasn't too bad. But I, I got warned about that attack by the fact that uh, it only does that if you have three characters. So there was strategies that involved not having ward here. But if you want to get Meteor for everybody, you got to be prepared to tank, to tank Breath, which is a non-elemental, which means you can't use status junctions to nerf it, and it hits everybody. But between that and Meteor, this is an enemy that if it's below a certain level and you know it's coming, you just, oh, I'll make myself absorb fire and wind and um, I'll be I'll be super easy. But then it, it goes above a certain threshold and it starts hitting you with breath and a Meteor and suddenly you're dying. But it's pretty apparent that Vitality or Spirit, one of those must be reducing the damage because that's not nearly as dangerous as I remember it being years ago. Yeah, I've never, uh, I've played through the game many, many years ago. I never went through and actually did what I did in this playthrough where I withheld leveling up until after I had stat boost stuff, so. Some of this is, this is new to me, being this, um, resistant to damage from an enemy like Ruby Dragon, which I remember being dangerous. But even here, so we're like, we're almost stat maxed, right? It's still doing like 3,000 something damage to Kuros. So that, that's an attack that if you didn't have a, the ridiculous stat maxing going on that I've been doing, it could be like a clear the party out in one attack kind of attack. By the way, that big giant black thing on its head is supposed to be its eyebrows, I believe. Just throwing that out there. But I'll have another decision to make about what magic I actually want to keep on my main characters. Once we've got Meteor, because we still have Ultima. We have Aura left to go. There's uh, various spells we haven't gotten yet. But at this point, you're like, well, what were they worried about? Why were they running away from this thing to begin with? It seems like Laguna could probably beat this thing by himself. And to be honest with you, he probably could, because it wouldn't even be using breath if it was just fighting one-on-one -on -one with Laguna. Anyway. Weird fight. Now we gotta give Ward, who wait, he spent a couple of turns uh, keeping Kiros alive, he needs a few extra turns to get enough Meteor because everybody else is done. Oh, I guess Laguna does need a little more Meteor too.
It's definitely blocking the canyon exit. Gotta give it that. I don't even remember what Meteor Junction's against, or too well as far as your stats, but... Oh, looks like Ward's just about done. Laguna somehow ended up behind everybody else. That's two breaths in a row. That's that's the AI's way of saying I'm done with this fight. Because that would... Yeah, like I said, we're stat maxed. That would be... That would definitely be killing most parties. And when we get to Omega Weapon, it's going to have attacks that don't really... Some of its attacks, not all, but some don't care what your stats are. That's why I'm, like, anticipating that fight still being difficult. But this is something in all my years playing the game I've never done. Had, like, the totally powered up party, so... Suddenly it's using breath all the freaking time. Okay, that really it should be it. It looks like everybody now should have 100 Meteor. Let's just make sure. I know Kiros does. Ward does. Laguna. Can you confirm your full Meteor status? Yes. All right. We'll let this one go long because we'll actually finish this in one... Uh, one video now they're actually fighting back at last. Pretty sure these guys are immune to death, too, so. We stole Inferno Fangs. That may or may not be better than we. Yeah, it looks like it's slowed. Inferno Fangs may or may not be better than what we would have gotten if we just let the thing, uh, drop items at the end of the fight normally. It's weak against Blizzard, but it's still not really taking that much damage. We'd obviously be doing a lot better if I was using stuff like overdrives. But instead I'm being conservative and not letting their health go down. But yeah, again, a ruby dragon at level 100, uh, arguably the toughest enemy in the game. So, and we put it to sleep, we make wake it back up immediately, but I guess I could have kept it down and used magic for a while, but... Oh, that's the thing to do. If we actually uh, put it to sleep again, I need to use Meteor on it, because I believe Meteor is non-elemental, so it won't, even though it uses Meteor and it has elemental immunities, it won't, it won't absorb damage from Meteor. In fact, I might start playing with that right now. Oh, we can use Flare on it. Woo! Because we never get to see Flare anyway. Now you can see what it does. It makes them all wobbly and weird. Just start throwing meteors at them. I think this is a all enemy type spell, so its damage is probably a bit diffused. Doesn't seem like it's doing any better than we would be with a regular old attack, but. Maybe I should have split this into two videos after all. Looks like it's going to take a while to finish this guy off. Especially with weird graphical glitches where we're seeing through chunks of rock. I don't think that's making a difference one way or the other. So you think you can cast Meteor? Wait until you see us cast Meteor.
Well, it's certainly not being affected by pain. I guess at this point I just cast magic because that it stays asleep when you do magic. I'm using flare because it just takes less time to cast. Although it's probably doing less damage too. Yeah, for some reason, Final Fantasy VIII is one of those games where physically attacking someone who is asleep will wake them. Magically attacking them, they sleep right through it, even though their body is on fire. <laughs> I don't know why it's... Oh, why am I just not speeding it up here? It's just taking forever. Seemed like good damage there, game. I don't know how much this thing has left. Maybe we can scan it and see. If it's not even halfway dead, well, it's more than halfway dead, but I think I'm calling it a video after all. When we come back next time, we'll finish this fight, because otherwise I'm going to have to split posts, and I'm getting sick of that. So, uh, next time we'll finish the remaining 30,000 hit points on this monster. I really should have equipped level down as well as level up. We'll see you then, guys.